20, Rocky Kalmus coming again off the defensive right side, the offensive left side of Oklahoma and Oklahoma State. How tough is Kalmus? He has a broken bone he's playing with. It's a non-weight-bearing bone, but still, number 20 right there, he is one tough cookie. You know, I love him because yeah. he's an old-fashioned throwback guy. Final five seconds of the half. And here they come again off the corner. And Lindsay, this prayer up in the air, not going to be much except intercepted. Mike Woods picks it off. Still on his feet and has finally dropped his second interception of the year. And the Sooners will head to the locker room with a 14-7 lead over their cross-state rival, the Oklahoma State Cowboys. A lot of pressure in the second quarter by the Oklahoma defense. And most of it, like I said before, came off the defensive right side, either with outside linebackers or strong safeties. And Eric Clemens is with Bob Stoops now. Eric? All right, I'm with Coach Bob Stoops. Coach, a kind of defensive chess match, kind of the, the kind of football you're from. Your assessment to the first half. Uh, it's good, good half. Uh, we've just got to be uh, better protecting the football. We can't give people points, and we've got to be able to protect it. We've lost it a few other times. Uh, got to do that, keep them away from the big play on, on defense and, and uh, just keep playing hard and making plays. What will be your primary message to your team at halftime? They, they really came on defensively later in the first half. Well, just to keep up the pressure on defense to come after them and on offense, stay calm, be responsible with the ball, and, and wait to make a big play. We need to make a big play and uh, keep the ball moving, keep them away from big plays. Coach Stoops, congratulations and good luck to you in the second half. We're at the half here at Owen Field in Norman, Oklahoma, 14-7. Oklahoma Sooners lead it at the break. On the other side, Kevin and Kellen with a Nissan Halftime Report. Stay with us. Establish some tempo with their running game. It'll be interesting to see how this goes in the second half. So you lost double-digit leads in three of their four losses, and they receive the second half kick. Up to the 20-yard line to the 25-yard line, and it's Brandon Daniels, and that is where Oklahoma will take over, leading 14 to 7. I thought, I thought Kellen Winslow made a great point at halftime to see if Eiffel will come out and test this maligned the secondary from Oklahoma State. Well, at the beginning of the year, Bob Simmons felt that the success on defense begins with the defensive line, but he also said it also is imperative that they improve in the secondary, and they were until the suspension of the three players. Now you'd think Heupel would try to take advantage of that, that Bob Simmons has only one senior starting back there, and you've got a redshirt freshman and a true freshman in your secondary. Heupel, whose father's a coach in Northern State, a Division II school in Aberdeen, South Carolina, used to go to his dad's practices, came out of Snow College in Utah, well, no, we have replacement players. Now, how about replacement chains? <laughs> and then there's an injured chain. Eric Clemens is checking on the status <laughs> of that former chain, and he'll have an update for us, hopefully, here in the third quarter. I think Kellen and Kevin are taking it home with them. You know, it's their first road trip, that kind of thing. OU first and 10, their own 25-yard line to begin the second half. Quentin Griffin and Seth Luttrell in the backfield with Heupel. OSU rushing four. They flip it out to the side, and it's tipped. Intended for Quentin Griffin, Kevin Williams, the redshirt freshman out of Fordyce, Arkansas, I got a piece of it. Well, you look at Williams now. He's six foot five. He's going to get his hands up and he's going to get into the quarterback's face. He starts up the field and the big old guy, Stocker, is going to block him. But Williams sees Griffin slip out. He pulls out of his pass rush and tips the ball. That is excellent football sense by Kevin Williams, number 58. They covered a fumble for a touchdown versus Kansas this year was a linebacker. Heifel with two to snap it, just gets it off. They keep it on the ground to Griffin. He's banging his way up to the 27-yard line before Courtney Mallory brings him down. And Griffin is playing because Michael Thornton, who is starting at that, at that back position before he fractured his ankle, he is out for the season. And Griffin had to blow a redshirt year. They were hoping to redshirt him. He's small, but he's powerful, and he's fast. Sat out the first seven games, had to take the red shirt off him. They said, this young man is an exciting player. He's got good speed, good hands, and great lower body strength. The Sooners facing third down and eight. Piper, very calm, very cool in the pocket. OU yet to convert on third down. 
Oklahoma State brings a bunch of white jerseys. Good protection. Heifel has a man. It's caught. Goodbye. Touchdown, Curtis Fagan. OSU gambled, and they got caught. Three yards for Curtis Fagan, a redshirt freshman out of Katy, Texas. His second touchdown reception of the year. The extra point by Duncan. And the Sooners use a minute and ten seconds to get on the board. Josh Heifel with his 30th touchdown pass of the year. 73-yard strike. And that's the state capital of Oklahoma here in Oklahoma City, just to the north of Norman, Oklahoma, where the Sooners have taken a 21-7 lead as we are early on in the third quarter. Reggie White, Jamal Fobbs, and Marcus Jones this man didn't like the noise. <laughs> Set to return. The it is a little loud confidence. in this place. Line drive kick. And it will sail out of bounds and a penalty flag will be thrown. Let's get back to the touchdown once again. Good call by Heifel. And what happens? It gets set up because in the first half, Daniels was catching passes here. But watch what happens with Fagan. He goes right down the field as Oklahoma State gets 11 guys on the line of scrimmage and blitzes them. Heifel has all the time in the world. He finds Fagan running right down the field. But the Oklahoma State defense overplayed number eight, Brandon Daniels, going into the flat. Perfectly thrown ball, but you know what else was perfect? Watch what these guys do up front in terms of picking up the blitz by Oklahoma State. It gives Heifel a ton of time. Well executed play. And a timely one at that. And the Cowboys get underway, and Lindsey is being rushed. His pass is complete to Kari Jackson. Inside the 40, down to the 35-yard line. And the big tight end rambling his way for a Cowboy first down and 29 yards. The same play that they started the opening series of the game off with, with Lindsey bootlegging out to his right and finding the big tight end. Now watch Lindsey, he's gonna fake to the left, he's gonna go out to the right, Jackson's a tight end, he blocks down, he comes back out. Great job of finding the football, getting it, excuse me, finding the tight end and getting the football to him. Officially, that goes down as a 30-yard pickup. And Lindsay will go from an empty backfield in the shotgun. Trying to answer OU's challenge. The ball is tipped, knocked away, almost caught by Nathan Simmons, or checked at it by Cameron White. It was tipped. White was there. Didn't get it. Eric Clemens, how's that chain doing down there? Well, Ron, the chain is undergoing a surgical procedure that involves <laughs> at least a couple of wire cutters. It's a serious procedure, but I think he'll be able to recover in time and get back in action before the end of this ball game. I thought chains were supposed to be strong. <laughs> of course, that Apparently chain... not this Yeah, one. no way, man. The chain is a senior playing in its last game. Lindsey on the draw, leans forward, and Oklahoma is right there to cover him up. Nothing doing. Ryan Fisher, a junior out of Arlington, Texas, and Rocky Kalmus there to make the stop. Quarterback draw, as you said, out of an empty formation, but Kalmus coming off the corner, slowed down a little bit, and tied up Tony Lindsay. We know when Tony Lindsay gets loose, he can do tremendous damage running the football, but not so fast that time. You sense the momentum here, Ron, going towards the Sooners. That's Lindsay's ninth carry. And he has only four yards. That is containing Tony Lindsay. And it's an empty set again. And look for the pressure from the outside backers. Third down and nine. A quick look into the tight end. Kari Jackson is incomplete. And again, the Sooner defense up to the challenge. Oklahoma is, is audibling to a blitz every time Oklahoma State ends up in an empty formation. You're going to see Lindsey get the football, look for his target inside, but that is just one great play by number 28, William Barkey, and Mike Stoops loves it. 
And Oklahoma State will be forced to kick it away after the big completion of the tight end. This is like what happened in the first half. 